2 series. Today we're going to be working on a 2003 Ford F-150 alternator. Now most of the time I am uh, doing videos on engine building but uh, my uh, all the power went out in my truck the, on Saturday so I figured well I'll show you how to do something that uh, uh, might save you a little bit of money. So we show the alternator here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the brushes and the regulator on the back of the alternator. So what we'll do is we'll take this out and uh, replace them. And I'm going to replace them with these right here. It's from Transpo. I actually got them on Amazon for nine bucks. It's a regulator and a set of brushes, and it can save yourself a lot of money instead of spending 150 bucks on an alternator. So let's take these uh, brushes out and see what they look like. Just four bolts. Now don't take these two out yet. Just take these four outer bolts out. I pre-loosened them already, so they should come out pretty quickly. Now this is a torque bits, and I think it's a uh, looks like a 20 torque bit 20 uh, screwdriver bit. So if you ever want to test uh, your alternator, see if it's a uh, the alternator or not. One of the things you can do is they've got a grounding port right here and it's got the little cover over it and you can ground the alternator while it's running. It's pretty hard to get to though because if you look at the alternator that's the top of the alternator and it's way down behind. It's a little bit tough to get to. So in this particular alternator I just, I just pulled it off and we're just going to see what the brushes look like. So there's the regulator with a brush combo. Whoa! You can see now this brush is still good. It's rubbing on the uh, commutator bar, but this one is just pretty much worn all the way down. It's not even touching. So that's probably going to be what's wrong with my alternator and why it wasn't charging. So it's pretty easy to put the new set in for nine bucks. It comes with the new brushes and a new regulator, and it comes with a little pin that holds these brushes back. So when you put them in after you get it installed, you pull the pin and the brushes will drop down onto the onto the uh, bars. Pretty simple. Put the four screws in. And also check out my other video on how to troubleshoot on whether or not your alternator or your battery. We'll do a couple of those checks and then also how to install this uh, alternator back. So it's all tightened down. Basically just pull the pins out and the brushes drop down. One of the things I am going to replace is I'm going to put this little plastic cover on the grounding port right there for checking the you know, full charging on the alternator. So that's it for replacing brushes. Pretty easy to do, pretty inexpensive. Uh, many times that's going to actually save you some money instead of spending uh, so much money on an alternator. So thanks for stopping by and be sure to subscribe to my channel and look for some, uh, some more tips.